hello, welcome to my home. It is an absolutely disgusting, rainy, cold day outside. And today, we're gonna hang out and have a cozy day at home. My older sister Elizabeth's coming over. I think we're gonna do some work, maybe eat some food, chill. I got a lot of home updates to share that people have been asking about. I feel like we haven't been in the home in a little while. So I got a couple little new things around the home that I think people will like. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna chat and chill. Let's have a cozy day. I do have one very exciting upgrade. I'll start with this, I'll start with this. Here's something new. <laughs> Can you even see it? This has been, if, you, if, you're, if you're one of the OGs with my vlogs, you might have seen me try to get this fire set up like over a year ago. Over a year, I've been trying to get the fireplace working. Renting this apartment, the owner had never used the fireplace. He was like, I don't even know if it's working. But I asked him if I could get it set up. And um, as I said, I have a very nice landlord. This wouldn't fly with everyone, but he agreed to let me get it set up. I was in charge of everything. It was a long haul. There was like a plumber had to come, HVAC people, fireplace inspector, fireplace installer. It was like 10 different technicians. It, I'm not sure if it was worth it. I'm not sure and my landlord agreed to split the bill with me So I did pay for like half of the work. It's not something I can take with me, but I it it's so cozy I'm just like a cozy. I'm a cozy baby. I'm a cozy baby. It's been really nice in the winter Oh And then the other thing I'll say about like the benefit of having a gas fire I like I like a real fire, but it it's my it's a small room and my couch is very close to the fire and like a real fire would spark more gas fire won't spark. I think here is very safe. Blah 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 blah. Even that plant right there, it's kind of dying. It's kind of dying, but it's fine. Pretty freaking sweet. It gets really hot in here though sometimes, so it's probably going to be on and off throughout this video. But I just needed to demonstrate fire. Wow, what a day! What a day! I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the best thing in my home right now. I can't stop talking about this. This tiny little acrylic shelf. It's like almost invisible. Um, it's a little drink shelf. I think I invented this. There, there's no way I invented this. I didn't get any inspo for this. I just wanted a place to put my drink over here, but I, you know, I have space for a little drinks table. You can do a little drinks table, but it'd just be more busyness and I didn't want anything on the floor. And I was like, what if I just use a shelf? just a, for a drink, just a drink shelf, and it blends in, it's camouflaged. I like doing a touch of something more modern, the acrylic thing, when everything else is so traditional. Um, I got like five, it's off Amazon. I got stuff off Amazon, it's only a few dollars. I put some in my bathroom as well. So I can put my drink here, or, you know, I can put like a little candle votive there. You can put your phone here. I'm putting these ever in my home. I'll link them. The, I'm obsessed with these freaking shelves. Did I invent this? There's no way, there's no way. I think it's just a shelf, it's just a regular shelf. But I'm calling it a drinks shelf. Eggs this morning, so I would eat something. They're always both eating eggs. Okay, cool. Make a good salad. Sure, I always look Yeah, sure. let's make a good salad. Got some feta. Hey, this is gonna be a good one. Ooh. It's gonna be a good one. Ooh. Avocado, bread. Do you want some bread with it? You can like put them all in a bowl. You want all of them? Oh, yeah, just clean them all. And then you can like slosh them around in the water because that actually gets stuff off of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had right. old, I had dead flowers in here. That's why it smells kind of weird. You have such nice cutting boards. Aww. These are both from Ikea. Really good cutting. Mm. In town because she was trying on wedding dresses. It's fun. So I went to her fitting yesterday. And I just thought it was like special. It, it is special. Like such a milestone thing in your life. Oh you like, no, that's really sweet. Yeah, I'm so glad so, you yeah, it was fun. It was just nice to do something different. Yeah. Um, Those are like the little moments of life. Like that's exactly. what it's. That's literally all it's about. What else is there? Sweet. What the fuck? Salad. Do you want to hold the camera 
You can be my cameraman. I'm the cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> You're so scared. Well, okay. I mean, don't don't drop it. I won't drop it. Salt the avocados, and then we always do some cumin. Cumin on avocado and guacamole. It's the key. Okay, I'm just gonna put that in there. Ooh, these are cool. These are some cool nuts. Mm. Marcona almonds. All right, you're dismissed. Okay. Here's your water. Okay. Waitress skills. Yeah, this is like overly romantic. What are you gonna write a book about? Because yours would be like an instant bestseller. A journal of my frocks. No, I'm serious. Sometimes I thought about putting out like a poetry book. I, mean, I don't know why you have it. Like, I've, I've like been collecting my poetry for years, my very emo poetry. I mean, the thing is you can make it whatever you want. You can make it a mix of literally salad recipes and poetry. <laughs> and so we're talking about books because my sister Elizabeth has written a book. Coming out May 2023. This bitch. Girl, tell them what it is. Did I? I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> she won't ever brag because she's always... She's never impressed with herself, but I will brag for you. She wrote a book called Shakespeare Was a Woman and Other Heresies. Um, what's the subtitle? How Doubting the Bard Became the Biggest Taboo in Literature. Bitch, the biggest taboo in literature! Is an exploration into the Shakespeare authorship question and really... Wait, you wrote it. You tell them. I'm not really prepared to talk about this. I mean, you love writing and you're so good at it. You have a really strong voice. That's the biggest thing, so having a voice. Thanks for your encouragement. I mean, so much from you. I'm an actual writer. <sighs> yes, I need to address that I've turned my table. I've turned my table in a direction that doesn't make any sense. Again, I already had this table before I moved into this apartment, before I knew I needed a table that fit into here. I had my table at long ways. That was great. But you know what? You know what? I really don't have people over. So I really don't use it as a dining table very much. I don't need four seats or six seats or whatever. And I want more space, so I just turn my table that way. I mostly just use it as a desk and I spread out that way. Can you access the back two chairs? No, you cannot. Do I have two additional friends? I do not. Shan't be making any. So for the time, it's fine. It doesn't make that much sense. It does make this, it makes it hard to open, um, to open the blinds. This is what I have to do to open and close the blinds. Right? This is stupid. This is stupid. But I'm sharing it because I'm a realistic girl in a realistic world and I do stupid stuff. And honestly, this stupid thing is working for me really well. I love having the big desk spread out. So yeah, it's turned that way and it doesn't make that much sense, but it's honestly working for me. Well, should we work? Yeah, we can work. I just installed this. This is literally just to put my coffee. Oh, yeah, it's so perfect when you're sitting there reading. Yeah, because I was like, I don't want to have a table. I don't want a table on the side. And I was like, that's all I need. Thank you. Sweater. How many years of work? Ugh, don't even talk to me about it. <laughs> Are you filming right now? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was on. That's the best footage. I wrote a song about it last night. I was so excited about you your book. You wrote a song about my book? Yeah. What's your song? I can't remember the tune. I was trying to remember the song, but it was something about like, I'm shaking all my Shakespeare, shaking all my Shakespeare, willing all my Shakespeare. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> to celebrate your achievement. You <laughs> it started out about cannolis. That makes sense. I had a cannoli last night and I wrote a song that was like, nobody knows that I got a cannoli and nobody knows that. That was the tune. It was like, shaking on my Shakespeare, I'm shaking on my Shakespeare. That conveys so much. <laughs> I was just really excited about your book. Did I do a good job? That was a very nice job. Thank you. What are you just staring into the abyss about? Uh, I'm just staring at my chapters. Let me get a shot of you with your chapters. Sneak freaking preview. Sneak. 
Shake no more Shakespeare. Okay, Elizabeth hates talking about herself, so I'll do it. But she's been working on a book. Actually, I'm gonna take it back. Elizabeth's a journalist, mm -hmm. and while she was a journalist for the Wall Street Journal, ever heard of it? I just flipped my hair for you. I did a hair flip for you. Can you do one? Do one. We've been trying to teach my dad how to do a hair flip, how to do a dramatic hair flip. He can't do it. Can you do an impression of dad doing a hair flip? He just sort of swipes his shoulders. Yeah, he, it's like he's trying to get it's dust like he off. He has a lot of dirt on his shoulders. It's like, have you never seen <laughs> hair in your life? Anyway, so she's been writing this book ever since. This is kooky. Ooh, that one looks good. Seeliest ignorance. Seeliest ignorance! Is that, is seeliest a cool way of spelling silliest? It's from a poem in 1623 by Ben Johnson, and seeliest is a archaic word for silly, foolish, simple. So it is seeliest. Seeliest. That is very silly. That is very, and very silly. In the poem, Johnson warns, he warns against those of seeliest ignorance, crafty malice, and blind affection who will praise Shakespeare, Ooh. who will praise the name out of ignorance, affection, blind affection, and crafty malice. This chair is an update too. I had a different like thonet, tonnet, I know it, you pronounce it a crazy way. Tonnet, thonnet chair. A bunch of people corrected me on YouTube. You, so you guys know how to say it, I don't. But I had a tonnet chair here and nobody ever wanted to sit in it. It wasn't a great accent chair. Be nice as like, an entryway chair to throw stuff on, but like it's not really comfortable to watch a movie in. And I saw this chair for sale in like um, a secondhand store in DC. It was only, I think it was like $140 or something. Pretty good deal. So I saw this, I love the dark wood. Um, it's still really a small footprint. It's not taking up a lot of space, but it's comfier to like sit and watch a movie. And it has a cushion, it has the arms, like this is so much more alluring to me and it came with a cushion that I really didn't like the fabric of but I just took some leftover fabric from one of my lampshades and a spray adhesive to cover the cushion and I didn't want to buy any new fabric so I just used the scraps I had which is why this barely covers the cushion spray adhesive covered it in two seconds sticks on perfectly I really love it easy upgrade 140 bucks and I have like a new loungy accent chair I did think about getting like an actual upholstered comfy lounge chair, but they get expensive even to reupholster one and they're just getting too big. Any bigger than this, I, I really can't do here or else it like blocks all the flow. I'm really stoked about this chair. Let's get the angles, get all the angles. Love, 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 love. Best IKEA cookies. Look at that texture. Oh my god. It's a whole smorgasbord. It's peppermint tea. Little orange on it. <laughs> what is this? The chocolate almonds. <laughs> Immediately in the mouth. <laughs> I'm supposed to go on a date tonight. Who with who? This guy. Wow, you've moved on so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So who's the guy? Um, I feel like his name is fake. What is it? <laughs> Wait, show me his picture. I know it. I know other Oh shit. We're always dating the same people. Oh no, I don't think that's him. Scroll through the rest to be sure. I wouldn't- It does not seem like your normal vibe. No, it's not my normal vibe, but I appreciated his profile. What he said made me kind of laugh. Part of what I loved writing about with this is not like, yes, there's a mystery. It is a literary mystery around who was Shakespeare and that's fun. But also it's like this really kooky world of people obsessed with this subject. It's just like this 
bizarre underworld of Shakespeare freaks, both the scholars. Shakespeare freaks, yeah. Yeah, both the scholars and then the, like the heretics on the other side duking it out. Before they crumble. Before they crumble. I really can't be bothered with them. <laughs> can't be bothered with them. That's why I think all the time when I'm swiping, I'm like, how many people am I saying no to that are like, I would love? That's why sometimes I throw a wild card in there. Mm -hmm. Also, people I've loved in the past weren't necessarily people I'd pick out of a line. And I, and I was very attracted to them. Yeah, I got that. It's so hard. Yeah, it makes no sense. Nothing I'm doing makes sense. I'm just trying. No, just... I just mean the setup. It's just like, it's so hard to judge people that way. What do they think of me? That's something I kind of want to ask. I think I've asked it once or twice, but I want to often, more often be like, who do you think I am? Before yeah, is, I say like, what anything. What is the impression I'm putting What is the impression, the yeah. If they would even tell you. Yeah, I know. It would be so helpful to have that feedback. I also don't want to hear. <sighs> like, part of it is the history of showing how Shakespeare became a god, you know, in the 18th and 19th centuries in England. Like, that's what the bardolatry chapter is all about that. How it became, like, the word idolatry became bardolatry. I got you. Okay. So, I don't know. You think I'm a Philistine? <laughs> <laughs> so then it became, like, impossible to question him because it was, like, questioning God. Okay, I have to go get dressed. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Are you done with your treat? I don't know. Wait, do you don't want this one? Oh, I, it's... I just had so much chocolate. I'm not re I'm not rejecting it. You can have it if you want. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. This is a bonsai tree that is shaped like a butt. This bonsai tree is thick. And that is the only reason I got it. My new obsession is this guy. I, this is a legit duster, ostrich feather duster with like the most beautiful lathed wood handle like this. I am obsessed with this because I genuinely struggle to dust and I debated getting, you know, the Swiffer dusters, which work very well, but I like am running out of storage. I'm running out of places to store cleaning supplies and stuff. And then I saw this like ostrich feather duster and it's so beautiful. This is probably like my favorite tone of wood. It's so beautiful to me. Like, look at this. This is like, I don't know, part of the ostrich feather? I don't know. I love this as like a cleaning solution because it's so pretty and sculptural that I want it out and I hung it on the wall. So it's out here and when I see it more, I use it more. I remember to dust. One thing I always struggle with is adding dimension to my wall decor. It's easy to just do like photo frame, photo frame, art frame, like two dimensional things and it starts falling flat. It's nice to find like ways to bring in sculptural stuff, stuff that has a form to it. So I'm freaking obsessed with things that are both functional but also sculpturally beautiful love. And I've been dusting, I've been dusting a lot, I've been dusting like you can't believe, so.